and welcome to Be Nature Vlogs. I'm Becca. And I'm Ellen. In the last episode, you saw us up on the moors in Derbyshire, where this happened. But he is awesome. Look at him. I hope you can see him. So in that piece of film, you could see that we found a common lizard. Now, in a moment, we're going to carry on telling you some awesome facts about the common lizard. But first of all, I thought we should clarify some terminology that we used in the last episode. So, first of all, we mentioned the cloaca. The cloaca is a single opening that serves the digestive, urinary and reproductive tracts. This can be found in amphibians, reptiles and birds. The second word that you heard that you may not have fully understood was the word hemipene. The hemipene is present in snakes and lizards. This is a bilobed reproductive organ, or in other words, it's a penis with two heads. Now, only one head functions at a time. And finally, we mention the word hibernacula quite regularly. Generally speaking, a hibernacula is a place of abode where a creature will seek refuge. Now, with lizards and snakes, hibernacula is somewhere where they can lay underneath and get warm while they're avoiding predation. So as promised in last week's episode, today we're going to be talking about the common lizard. So first off, there are three different types of lizard native to the UK. The sand lizard, which is the rarest of the three species and is only found in a few isolated areas. Slow worms, not actually a worm, looks like a snake and is actually a legless lizard. It's fairly common and can actually live for 20 years. 20 years! And finally, the common lizard. As common as they come, but that doesn't make them any less interesting. It's native to the UK and can quite often be seen basking in sunny spots. Females produce between 3 and 11 young in July. Usually when you picture lizards, you think of them laying eggs. The common lizard is actually really special and it gives birth to live young, not eggs, which means they are viviparous, as opposed to oviparous, which means laying eggs. Now over to Ellen, who is going to talk about autotomy Okay, so autotomy is really cool adaptation that the common lizard has. As you saw in the last episode, the common lizard that we found had lost its tail and it was starting to regrow. This is an absolutely amazing piece of evolution. It's an anti-predatory piece of evolution. Many species of lizard, including the common lizard, are able to rapidly sever their own tail from their spinal column. Once the tail has detached from the body, it continues to flip around violently, like some kind of possessed worm. <laughs> now, it's really cool to see. There are videos on YouTube that you can look up. It's really cool to watch. We'll link one below. The reason it's able to carry on moving in that way is because the tail has its own nervous system that carries on functioning after it's been severed from the main spinal column. So the reason why being able to lose a tail is a great adaptation is because as the lizard runs away, the most likely part of the body that the predator is going to grab is the tail. So the violent moving and flipping of the detached tail acts as a distraction to the predator. So it gives the lizard a little bit more time to get away. Some species of lizard are then able to regrow their tail. I do want to stress though that not all species can regrow their tail. So please don't go running around the countryside pulling the tails off lizards. <laughs> not fun. <laughs> When the tail regrows, it can be less perfect in form. Now, this probably doesn't sound like a big thing to us, but actually, it can make the lizard less attractive to the opposite sex. That's important. Mm. Also, the detachment of the tail comes at an energetic loss to the lizard. It requires extra energy to regrow a new tail. So although it's a great adaptation to, to escape predators, it does come with some cost. And that's just a few facts of why the common lizard is so awesome. So that's it for today's nature vlog and we hope you join us again for our next video. Um, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs> and we'll see you again next time with another nature vlog. Bye. Bye.